Hey everyone, welcome to Lore Swan Lorecrafts. Today we are finishing our wonderful project uh, with the final layer of fabric for our duct tape dress form. Our choice of fabric for this project was something very thick and stretchable. In this case, we chose a square pattern to help us drape. The only tricky thing about this pattern is it's gonna be hard to make everything line up. Since I'm freehanding the draping process, I first found the middle of the fabric, poked a hole in it so that the hanger pops through. Now I'm just pinning the fabric around the form to figure out where I'm going to put the seams. Now that everything's in place, it's time to mark those seams. I am basically marking where I'm actually going to be sewing the two pieces of fabric together. In reality, you should be using a white chalk pencil, but every once in a while I do switch off with white crayon or even a ballpoint pen or sharpie. Once the marks are made, it's time to unpin everything from the dress form and reassemble the pins so it's easy to sew. I'm first starting off with the side seams. I'm placing the pins in a perpendicular formation against the line that I had marked on. Before we can sew, we need to set the tension on our sewing machine. That way the stitch is nice and tight and neat. The best way to do this is to cut out a sample of your fabric, make it a double layer, and start sewing on it. You're checking to make sure that the thread is evenly tight on both the upper thread and the lower thread. If it's not, make sure to adjust either. Once everything is looking good, it is ready to sew. After a major stitch is sewn on the sewing machine, I always place it back on the dress form to make sure I don't need to make any more adjustments. So far the side seam checks out, now it's time to work on the shoulders. Since the shoulders curve, we are going to cut in a little bit on the top and then prepare the armholes for some fabric later. Now that I have the upper shoulders pinned, I am just sewing off the top portion. Since the shoulders are doing fine, it's now time to make a dart on the side of the breast. Since I'm trying to keep the lines on the front of the dress form pretty straight, the dart is going to help the fabric conform to the dress form and also keep those lines straight. Sewing the darts is probably really tricky for most, but as long as you take your time and watch what you're doing, it should turn out fine. Once the extra fabric is taken off, it's time to put it back on the dress form to see if there's any other alterations that need to happen. So far everything checks out, now it's time to cover the armholes. I'm not going to go into great detail on how I pin this. Essentially what I'm doing with the pen is marking where the pins used to be so when I switch them to the reverse side, I know exactly where to sew. If you do decide to use a sharpie or a ballpoint pen, just make sure you're marking in areas that are not going to be seen. Whenever running your project through a machine when there's a lot of layers, take extra care in making sure you're not sewing onto a different layer below the fabric that you do not want to sew on. Since this is a stretch fabric, I am taking extra care to make sure that the fabric is not going to pucker. I am doing so by stretching out the fabric with my hands and making sure I am sewing with both layers completely flat. Once all the sewing is done, it is time to tie off the knots. Normally I do use the reverse function to actually tie off the knots in the machine. However, there are certain stitches that I did not tie off and I would like to make sure they're extra secure. Once everything seems complete, let's cut off the extra fabric and try it on the dress form. I am pretty happy with how it turned out. Now it's time to deal with the bottom. I could essentially use more duct tape to tape it underneath. However, I would like to use a staple gun instead. That way I know the bottom is going to stay nice and secure. The staple gun I have is actually pretty loud, so I just use my headphones just to kind of cover my ears. You do want to also wear safety glasses, which is something I forgot to wear. And there you have it. It's a duct tape dress form with a cover. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. The armhole seams are not perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Both shoulders of this dress form were shaped a little bit differently, so I kind of had to customize both shoulders. Ultimately, the dress form does not have to be perfect. All it's going to help me do is give me an accurate representation of my body, so that when I am making costumes, it's a lot easier to form fit. And now this is completely ready for us to start our Toph cosplay. <laughs> 